Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel I received this comment from my viewer he asked me you always talk about a flyback converter but what is or what do you mean by flyback flyback is a technique which is used to transfer the voltage from the primary winding into the secondary section of the transformer there are many techniques which are used to transfer the voltage like uh, buck converter, boost converter, forward converter, flyback, half bridge, full bridge, LLC, resonant. So different techniques. Each technique have its own parameters. It have its own advantages and disadvantages. Let me give a simple idea about this. This is a line voltage. 120, 110, 220, whatsoever. Here we have bridge rectifier. Positive and negative. These voltage are rectified, AC voltage. These are rectified into DC voltage. We store this voltage on this capacitor. Then we need a switching mechanism which can switch these voltage to transformer why because dc cannot pass in a transformer so we need a switching or pulsating or pulses or varying current in the primary to transfer to, to the secondary side if i have this transformer winding If you will connect directly to the primary, once it will start to flow current, magnetic field will build up. After that, it will not collapse and it will become a piece of electromagnet. But from a transformer, we need a varying magnetic field, collapsing, expanding, collapsing, expanding, similar to a generator. We have excitation winding and we rotate some rotor in that winding. When this rotating mechanism, rotating shaft will rotate in this magnetic field which is created by this excitation winding, this magnetic field will cause to induce voltage in the rotor and we take output voltage. Here is condition that we have static magnetic field created by the excitation winding and we are rotating it is a condition to take output voltage that something must rotate we can rotate the magnetic field or we can rotate the rotor in transformer because transformer is a solid block its primary winding and secondary winding are static they are concealed in this ferret core to take a varying magnetic field we connect a series switch either is it is npn transistor pnp transistors mosfet igbt anything which can switch the voltage we connect this line here to drive this transistor this switching mechanism we need some pulses which are created by any oscillating mechanism that is called PWM driver, PWM IC, SNPS IC, anything which can switch, which can drive this transistor in this way. When it is on, it will allow to pass the current. When it will allow to pass the current, it will create magnetic field in this winding. It have a ferret core here and if we place an other winding in the same magnetic field when this magnetic field is expanding the second winding will receive voltage due to mutual induction so this induction mutual induction will cause to induce voltage in the secondary side it is a normal transformer in a forward converter same side winding if it is clockwise it is clockwise 
If it is counterclockwise, it is counterclockwise. But the main difference between flyback and forward converter are flyback are a simple transformer which you use for AC voltage that this transformer have opposite winding than the prime key. So if this dot is here, this dot is here. This dot indicates that this winding is 180 degree out of phase. If it is clockwise, it is counterclockwise. If this one is counterclockwise, this is clockwise. So, when the transformer winding is opposite to the primary, we will receive opposite direction voltage to the primary. How we can say? If this end is positive, normally in same winding, in line winding, in phase winding, this end will become positive. But now, in this situation, when we have dot side here, non dot side here, so if this end is positive, this end is will be positive. Same time, if this end is negative, opposite end will negative. So this is technique in this flyback transformer. What is the benefit of this transformer? First, we will place our diode here and our capacitor here. Now let's see its timing diagram. We have a switching signal here. When this transistor will on, it will allow to flow the current in this primary winding. Now the current will flow. As we discussed, that it have opposite winding. So if this end is positive, because it is connected to capacitor positive terminal, at that time this end is negative. Why? Because this transistor is now turned on. When it is turned on, it is saturated. So it is saturated, it will drop, we can say 1 volt, 1.4 volt. That is much closer to this ground level. If it is 330 volt here, 1.4 volt offset will here, we can say it is ground level. At that time, when it is switching, V in is applied to the transformer primary winding and the current is flowing in the primary. It will cause to create a magnetic field in the primary. When magnetic field will start to build up, it will cut this winding. Voltage will start to induce in the secondary, but the polarity of the voltage that this end is now negative, this end is positive. This is the condition when we are in this period, when the transistor is on. So we can say the current is flowing in the primary but no current will flow in the secondary Y because this diode is reverse biased. Negative voltage are applied to anode so it will absent. Now just only primary winding is in series to this switch and secondary is invisible. Why? Because there is no load. In forward converter, while switching, the load is directly connected to primary because it will directly induce the voltage. But here, secondary is absent. When it will switch, it will store the magnetic field in the primary. When it will turn off the, this transistor because it have oscillation frequency F operative at operating frequency, this turn off time, it will cause to turn off this transistor, this MOSFET, this IGBT at that time. This magnetic field which is stored here, it will collapse. When it will collapse, the collapsing magnetic field will cause to create a reverse magnetic field. At that time, winding this end will become negative and this end will become positive. When this end is positive, say at that time this end will become positive and this end will become negative because winding is opposite. Now we can see this diode is forward bias 
and if we have some load it will allow to flow the current in the load and same time it will also charge this capacitor so now we can say when the transistor was switching this winding was absent when the transistor is off this winding is active secondary winding in simple words in flyback topology we store energy in the primary winding in the core and we use that stored energy in the off time when this off time is there at that time the negative polarity voltage same to the primary voltage will there but the polarity is reverse that is in negative voltage that are called V clamp clamping voltage but in this period the secondary winding is visible and there is a current flow in this winding secondary winding at that time we have voltage across this MOSFET so this stress because this time when the magnetic field is collapsing at that time this positive and this time this winding is negative so positive negative positive negative because this MOSFET is open but it is present in the circuit we can see positive negative positive positive stress is here and this end is negative so this MOSFET this transistor this switching device will receive double voltage stress in the off period why because this voltage source now it is working as a second voltage source so this MOSFET can damage or it will dissipate the heat to protect it this circuit needs a RCD snubber R C D so this RCD snubber circuit protects this MOSFET from over stress damage over voltage damage in the off period this is the working phenomena of that that we need a voltage clamp here so this clamp voltage will protect this MOSFET and it will give easiest path when this magnetic field is collapsing it will create the same voltage here which will become in series so this circuit will discharge it at the same time we are taking benefit to drive the load the flyback topology because it uses unidirectional magnet so in half period it stores energy here then we use energy here and we also dissipate energy in this RCD snubber to protect this tra transistor this MOSFET so it is used to drive low power loads if this transformer it is using here we can say 50 watt if this transformer is providing we can say 50 watt in flyback it can provide 3 to 4 times 50 multiply by 3 it can provide 150 watt or 50 to 200 watt power in half bridge full bridge in bi-directional magnet where we use bi-directional magnet here it works in unidirectional method method so the basic phenomena of the flyback that it is a method to store energy in the on time and we use this stored energy in the off time I hope this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh